Welcome, friends, to another devotional lesson from the book of Psalms. Look forward to sharing with you this brief, but I believe impactful and inspiring lesson. We're going to look at Psalm 19 today. Our topic today is what the glory of the heavens is saying to you. I believe you'll be inspired by this topic. And we're teaching a series of lessons from the book of Psalms uh, at brianhudson.com. So be sure to go there and you can get caught up on lessons you've missed. I'm doing something special for this lesson today because of the topic, I'm using a special background here in my studio. And I want to uh, show you images of God's creation. I want to focus you there because the psalmist will focus us on that in just a moment. Our devotional has landed on Psalms 19. I'm going to use this psalm to consider God's creation. David wrote in Psalm 145 and verse 5, I will meditate on the glorious splendor of your majesty and on your wondrous works. There is something life lifting in meditating on the works of God. We often marvel at the works of men, but nothing compares to the works of God. David wrote this in Psalm 19 verses one through three. The heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament shows his handiwork. Day unto day utter speech, and night unto night reveals knowledge. There is no speech or language where their voice is not heard. Praise God. The heavens and the skies, both the daytime and night skies going out into space, are what the heavens are. And the heavens declare the creative glory and God's power to regulate all things. David said that the day and night utter speech, that it also reveals knowledge. God speaks to us through his creation and challenges us to expand our knowledge. Jesus used parables about nature to illuminate truth. Now, I don't suggest that we worship nature or put nature on the same level as God's word or the person of Christ. I do suggest that you become more impressed with what God has done than what man is doing. I challenge you to elevate your thinking and remove yourself from petty and pointless things of this world that compete for your attention. As a matter of fact, when you meditate on the glorious splendor of God's majesty, as David said, and on his wondrous works, you'll experience a reset. By looking at a big God, you'll see yourself in a proper perspective and realize that your help and your strength are available from Christ. Psalm 19 verses 12 through 14 conclude with these thoughts and words of correction and reflection. It says this, who can understand his errors? Cleanse me from secret faults. Keep back your servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then I shall be blameless and I shall be innocent of great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Now, can you see how considering God's creation, looking at God's nature helps to inspire you, help you to see a big God and put yourself in perspective? Can you see that? And also, can you see how the things we make so big in this world are very small compared to the majesty of God? Our reflection question for today's devotional is this. What inspiring messages from the heavens and nature do you hear? Because if night and day is speaking and the voice is heard everywhere, then I promise you God is using these things like parables to speak to you. I want to share with you some photographs and a video clip of the solar eclipse from August 2017. I went to Nashville, Tennessee to witness the full eclipse in person. It was the single most amazing thing I've ever seen in nature. And it inspired me greatly. Hope you enjoy the pictures. Hope this lesson will inspire you in the same spirit of letting God's majesty and God's splendor elevate your thinking. <laughs> 